Good morning from Panhandle Outdoors, America's only daily outdoor TV show. Your source for fishing, hunting, and information for folks who enjoy the great outdoors. Now sit back, relax. It's Panhandle Outdoors. Good morning, folks. Welcome to Panhandle Outdoors. I'm Winston Chester. I'm so glad you're here this morning. We've got a great show lined up. But first, our weather brought to us by Haney Technical Center at the corner of Baldwin and Highway 77. We're having some changes in the weather. I've been sitting here for, seems like months and months, telling you about how hot and dry it's going to be. I'm not going to say that anymore. It's going to be tonight. It's actually going to be down to 56, according to what the weatherman is telling me. 56 will be the low tonight. Uh, high today is going to be like right at 84. Water temperature just slowly dropping. I know just in the degrees, it's, it's 80. It's already down to 80. 3.5, 83.5, a little bit of a drop there, so some changes are coming about in the water. A river reading brought to us by Mountain Dew. Take it outside with Mountain Dew. Now, we're not going to see a lot of changes right away with that place called Blunstown because of the dam up at Lake Seminole, but take a look at the Choctahatchee at Caraville. Is that not refreshing to see? It's just jumping up there. It's going, it's going all the way from a point two to a point eight. And, but now it's going to really start going up more than tomorrow with this rain we've had last day or two up in the valley and all is going to sort of sweep down and it's going to really be rising on a chart statue for the weekend if you're planning on going. Tide chart brought to us by Kent Forest Lawn. Good strong tides the rest of this week. Low tide is at 8.01 this morning coming in all day until about 10.48 tonight. And our marine forecast, it looks like it's going to be coming out of west-northwest at about 11.00. So that's it takes care of our weather. So we're going to take a break, come back with our special guest. Okay, welcome back. Sit here. Now, y'all all recognize uh, Mr. Ronnie Groom from CNG. Ronnie, good to have you. Morning, buddy. We brought your sidekick here, Mark. Good to have you, buddy. <laughs> Coach, thanks for having me on. Mark works down there, and uh, I haven't gotten to know Mark over the years and all. He, just, he is just a consummate professional and I just love going in there talking to if Ron's not around Mark and I are gonna kick it off so I want to tell the folks a little bit about your background how you ended up in Panama City thanks coach I do appreciate being on thank you and especially I worked for this guy for the last three or four years and it has been a, a tremendous adventure on so many fronts I've learned a, a lot from the two of you guys I have to admit most of my outdoor experience has come from the two of you <laughs> in terms of what I know today but my background is I'm an engineer I went to school at Southern Illinois University down in, in Chicago or, or, or Carbondale. Mm -hmm. Lived in Chicago most of my life, and my wife and I finally got to the point where we, we moved to the great outdoors, northern Florida. That's awesome. And you know so much about this stuff now. I mean, it's, it's amazing. And one of the things uh, that, that brought you all in here to this time, uh, we've got a lot to talk about, but the, the cameras. There's so much going on with the cameras now, and I said, So many Mark, new advances, yeah. Tell us about what's going on with the cameras. Well, I'm going to let Mark tell you. He's our expert. And by the way, he is our bow mechanic. He is the best bow mechanic I've ever had after all the years we've been there. And if you got a bow problem, buddy, he can fix it. We've, I've gone down there and walked in there, and he's in the back working on it. I just sit there with like a master working yeah, on it. all these presses and everything. Yeah. It's complicated, it, but he can set a bow up so it'll shoot right. Well, you know what they say about blind squirrels. I happen to be those one of those about four years ago, and due to your information and input, I've, I've gotten to where we are well, today. I say, uh, engineer mine too, so I think helps out a lot too. Oh yeah. So what so, what about the cameras and all? We we making a, this is some uh, huge steps we're we, seeing. We really have, Coach, and I think uh, just a few years ago, uh, these trail cameras that were out there were very complex to use. They were hard to set up. They were not convenient. Uh, and in the last couple of years, manufacturers like SpyPoint, for example, have come up with cameras that, are, that, that breach the affordability uh, threshold. They've gotten to the point where they're very easy to set up. And we have to admit, people that are in our generation have a more difficult time with technology and computers. That's one of the huge benefits that they've, they've come to. And, and the last thing is simple convenience. Um, you know, one of the things Ronnie wanted to do was to have all of us at, at CNG Sporting Goods get to a point where if we used a product, we could then explain it to our customer base more mm -hmm. effectively. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we <clears throat> set this SpyPoint camera up on Ronnie's phone 
and regularly customers come in and they look at these and they want to see the pictures that are generated, they want to see the software that, that is, uh, is created or that you utilize with the camera. And more importantly, they want to make sure once they take this home, they can actually set it up on themselves mm -hmm. and then utilize it to, to the fullest of their advantage. And this particular camera, uh, it's, it's inexpensive. I mean, it's right around that $150 mark. Wow. Uh, it is, and there's really t two different cost benefits there. There's the cost of acquiring the camera and then the cost of using the camera. Mm -hmm. And in the past, uh, both of those costs were exceptional. The use feature now is around $7 a month there, yeah, I think is what we're working with right now. So $7, we chose a package of 1,000 pictures per month on, on Ronnie's phone. Okay. Uh, just because uh, the very first month that you, you acquire this camera, you have the opportunity to have unlimited pictures. And it gives you the chance to see how many you're going to utilize. And I think we got four or 500 pictures the very mm -hmm. first month. So we chose the 1,000 pictures per month package, which ended up being $7. Uh, wow. The second thing is they have a program that you simply go through through Google Play or if you have an Apple iPhone, the Apple iStore, and all you do is you go there, it's, it's, the, it's called the Spy Point Link. You download it and uh, once you get into it, it's very intuitive. Uh, you have the opportunity to set it, 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 I think it took us four or five minutes to do it. Yeah. As a matter of fact, the only you time... You did it. <laughs> well, I appreciate that once again, Brownie, but uh, we, we did it together, yeah, okay? okay? And we had a good time doing it because uh, the very first thing you see when you go into this program is you see a number of different animals. You see antlered animals, and then you see animals without antlers, like turkeys and other things, mm -hmm. and you wonder what that's all about. This, had, this software allows you to say, I only want to see the turkeys that come up in my pictures, or I only want to see the, the elk oh, or the goodness. smaller deer. So uh, now they'll all generate and, and be downloaded to your phone, but if you happen to be hunting a species, you have the opportunity to say, I only want to see the turkeys in this particular month. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and press on the turkey, and just the turkey pictures come up, and they come up, of course, it's got great night vision, it's got terrific color pictures, and I know over here you've, mm -hmm. you've yeah, downloaded we'll, a couple of different yeah, we'll pictures. Show there, yeah. uh, the benefit of it really is, um, they've come to a point where, for what the cost of a conventional camera, where you'd have to go out and service the batteries, you'd have to go out and pull the SD card and put it in your computer, is now less to be able to send those directly through a cellular device uh, right to your, your telephone and uh, for a very, very affordable price. And uh, we have a customer just the other day who came in. His hunting plot is three hours from his home. Yeah. And uh, so he doesn't have to do anything other than check his phone every day. And the amount of ability to uh, direct the phone, you can, you can reprogram the camera from your phone. Mm -hmm. There's nothing you have to do. Once you put this on your tree or, or wherever your, your mm -hmm. location is, there's nothing you have to do other than take your phone out. You can reprogram it. You can check battery levels. You can check, you can reprogram everything. You, you can check the temperature of the area where you're hunting. Uh, just a variety of different uh, wow. opportunities. Wow. It's The good thing about these controllable. pictures is you can tell if their animals come into your stand or not. You know, I don't want to go sit on a on a deer stand and nothing's coming in. This, yeah, this is to me almost revolutionary. And it tells it you it, it, on the bottom of the picture you see the time that the deer are coming in. You yeah. know, it's just amazing and it's a big boon to to hunters. I yeah. can tell you that. Yeah, I, I see. We're gonna take a quick break and come back and look at some of these pictures. We'll be right back. Okay, welcome back to with Ronnie and, and Mark from C&G, and this is just uh, fascinating to me, and I've already told, I just told Ronnie, I said, listen, I'm going down uh, uh, this afternoon and get a couple. They've already sold out. You got some on order? Got them. Be here. Should be here at the end of the week. All right, put my name on a couple of them now. I'm serious. <laughs> I, this is something. Uh, I can't believe you sold out before I had a chance to get one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at here. Well, Steve Shea been by there, and he raided all of them. Yes. I knew it. I, Steve beat me to it. He did. Uh, let's look at some of these pictures. Uh, you got two or three pictures. Mark, uh, tell us about, Ronnie, tell us about this picture here. Well, that's, that's a, a feeder right there, and the deer coming into that feeder. And, uh, you know, you notice there's a couple of nice bucks there, and people sometimes think uh, big deer don't come to a feeder. That's not true. But anyway, that's that's just a picture late in the afternoon, and you can see on the bottom is the time they were there. Yeah. And there's does and bucks there, 
Yeah. That's what I got uh, in the afternoon. All right, here's yeah. a night, night vision. Yeah, this, uh, you get good pictures at night, and you can find Clear. out when those deer are coming, you know. Yeah. That's so important. And uh, But you'll be surprised. You may see one at 12 o'clock, but mostly you're going to get most of your pictures in the evening and early morning. Okay, here's one more. That's just that. a group of deer feeding around there. That's some nice bucks. I mean, yeah. you got a herd of them. <laughs> That's <laughs> some nice bucks. There's five or six deer in that picture, and I've had more than that in there, but... You can't go in there too often, you know, and with this, you don't have to go in because the picture's coming to you. You don't have to go in there and get a card and make all that noise and yep. spook them. So, uh, that's, that's, what, just, that's, what, that's one of the cool things about it. That's one of them. Mark, what about, uh, you know, some guys want to use them on public land and all. What about people getting them in the hall? So tell, tell us what's going on with that. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention a little earlier, Coach, is, is that uh, you can put as many of these on your camera as you choose. Uh, if you wanted 8 or 10 or 20 of these, all of them, when they come to your phone, they identify themselves and you can determine, you can say it's camera 1, camera 2, or you can identify the camera by its location. However you want to identify it on your phone, uh, I think you'll be very impressed with the actual software program. But one of the things you had asked that queued a memory up for me was, what happens if someone should put it on a public land mm -hmm. and perhaps uh, somebody walks by and sees it and takes it? Mm -hmm. These these cameras actually have a GPS tracking mechanism built into them. Cool. These are just like your cell phone. They have a SIM card built into them. So you go right to your program, right to your phone, and you turn on the GPS feature. Remember, you can completely control this from that, yes. from your phone. So you turn that GPS feature on, and it tra it shows you right where that, that camera is located. So the benefit of it is, it's unlikely that, you know, if somebody happens to pilfer it, that yeah. uh, you wouldn't get it back. Right. That is awesome. That is <laughs> awesome. Can you put it at different angles? I mean, at different heights and all? Yeah, I mean, yeah. about anywhere you want to. You yeah. certainly can. You, uh, certainly you know, can. generally you want to face them north or south so the sun doesn't get in there and the Good sun point. can cause a problem. And you, you have to keep all the brush around it down. Because if a bush is moving in front of it, it'll take pictures of it. I thought about it. Good point. Yeah. So, uh, you know, I took my lawnmower in there and cut around the tree stand a little bit. <laughs> okay. Keep those small pieces of grass from moving. That's just more work for me. I just, I'm, I'm trying to get things simplified. <laughs> I got to take my lawnmower up there now. Just pick a good place to put your stand. That's true. That's true. Yes, sir. And uh, so. Uh, that's called a spy point. That's a, that's well, it's a spy it's point. made by spy point. Yes, sir. Everybody they, makes them, but we yeah. found we've had very good luck with these. Uh, you know, ironically, I one of the big reasons uh, we go to Buckmasters every year. This year, I want to go up there and look at the cameras, and they just they just were not any up there. I said, well, I'm going back home and get the information, which is what I've done. <laughs> <laughs> and it, yeah, so a lot of people. Ask, this cameras have revolutionized. Yeah. Let me ask you this. I ran into a guy who was using them for his home security. Oh, it, yeah. it, people, what's the story with that? Because if you're not a hunter, you still could use this, right? Absolutely. So tell us about that. Well, um, yeah, that's that's just one of the many purposes. Uh, you know, it really brings it to the point where it could be a trail camera, it could be you know a hunting camera. You could put it at your home. You could keep an eye on your boat if it, your boat's in a, a remote location. And uh, the benefit of it is you can go into the program and determine how often the pictures are sent to your phone. Uh, I think your producer had asked about. Uh, battery life yes and that's directly related to how many times you tell your phone to send those pictures to you so if you say every time a picture is taken I want to see that that picture so if you were to use this for security purposes that's the setting that you would that you would use okay. you'll probably consume the batteries in five or six months at that point at that level wow. because the more times it takes a, a picture and then sends it to the phone it'll consume a little more battery life I think in Ronnie's case we have his phone set up for every two hours because it's for hunting reasons but yeah. if it's going to be used for security purposes that would be a good idea and because it uses infrared at night and color pictures during the day uh, for detecting and presenting the pictures uh, it is a perfect camera uh, whether you're looking for deer or turkey or whatever species you're looking for or you know the human element uh, for yeah. security purposes that is awesome that's yeah. just that's just awesome you know it you can use the regular cameras. This this one sends it back to back to me the pictures, but just regular cameras you can put them out, you know. And but you have to go in 
and get the card out yeah. and so forth. But and like you say, that disturbs, that gets you sitting yeah. out there. You, yeah. you know, I talked about deer hunting before, how important it is. Just leave right. that safe haven if you can, yeah, as sure. long as you can. That's yeah. exactly right. Yeah. Okay, we're going to take our final break and we'll come right back with Mark and Ronnie. Okay, welcome back. Let's take a quick look at our fishing game time today, brought to us by Blue Water Outriggers down in Port St. Joe. We're looking at 2.20 to 4.20 this morning. Uh, Y'all probably slept through that one, but uh, this afternoon, 2.43 to 4.43. So, uh, Mark, hey, boss, you need to get off and go 2.43 to 4.43, and I'm sure he'll <laughs> let you off. Okay, we've got, we got a lot of stuff to talk about, about ground blinds and that, but we've got a couple more things on, on the camera that's important. So, Mark, would you finish that up? Absolutely. For, for people who really want to get into the weeds about some of the some of the details of these cameras. This particular camera that we're featuring here today by Spy Point uh, does have an 80 foot detection range. Um, it will take a picture uh, in infinity, infinity uh, uh, in terms of its ability to see the picture. But if an animal should come within that 80 foot perimeter, it will indeed uh, go ahead and take the picture. This camera comes with a two year warranty, which we found Ronnie and I found impressive as well. In the past, cameras have only come with a one year warranty, and of course, one year and one day is when they, they seem to fail. So I think Spy Point is very comfortable with um, the hardiness of their individual camera. A couple of other things is that it has a one half second trigger speed. So if you have a, a 60 or 70 uh, degree angle of a lens on the camera and an animal were running across, this camera's got a fast enough trigger speed where it will capture that animal, okay. you know, even if it's close uh, to, the, to the individual lens. Uh, this particular camera takes still uh, or continuous pictures. Uh, there are other cameras within the Spy Point lineup that will take HD uh, video. This one here is uh, just for uh, taking pictures. It's probably an effort in order to put it back into that uh, affordability uh, realm, but excellent pictures as the coach uh, showed here wow. uh, just a little while ago. And some of them do in fact have things like a sound recording. This camera also, if you're in a remote location, it, you can also purchase, for example, a solar tray to keep the batteries charged okay. so you never have to change the batteries or if you have a location coach I think you had mentioned in a security setting yeah. where it'll be at your home mm -hmm. if you have a place to plug it in it does have a transformer that you could plug in and then through perpetuity I want to I want to mention one other thing one other thing that spy point has done which made it really convenient is we talked about which cellular plans to purchase. One of the things that impressed Ronnie and I was, if you choose no plan whatsoever, the, the Spy Point will provide 100 pictures for free for perpetuity. So if you purchase the camera and buy no cellular plan, you'll get 100 pictures for free as long as you own the camera, That's which cool. I think is another breakthrough yeah. in this type of a, an cool. arrangement. And it's That's amazing the pictures you'll get. You know, I've got pictures of a of a raccoon and a deer staring at each other, and I've got pictures of just of a nose stuck into the camera. <laughs> I mean, it's just, uh, yeah. we had a guy came in the store that he had some cameras up in Alabama, and he took a day off just to go, he was so curious to what's happening, he took a day off and went and got the card out and brought it back and so he could see what was around his, his area. Fascinating, yeah. It's I, amazing. I've seen pictures of eagles coming in and yeah. uh, all kinds of things. Yeah, you just, you yeah. never know what you get, a squirrel upside down hanging by his feet, <laughs> eating, you know, it's just amazing. That yeah. Something, because everything's real. Nothing for stage. Yeah, yeah, no, no, this is not Hollywood. This is no, real, real, this is real people real, and real animals. You may okay. even see a poacher. I know. <laughs> you know, I've seen that. I've seen pictures. Yeah. Actually, on Facebook, people say, "Do you know this guy? He's on my land." <laughs> and we had a guy walking in front of and the camera. You can recognize him, and you, you you go to law enforcement. You got the time and the date, and you got the area he's in and his face. That's, That's a closed case. There you go. That's yeah. cool. All right, real quick now, we got you know, trees that are blown down, everything, and I, I, you know my drama on my my tree stand. But what about? Uh, I got a ground blind from you a couple years ago, and I love that thing. So what's going on with blinds and all now? What? Well, they all of a sudden they're very very important because of the lack of trees around here, especially if you need a tree in a certain spot for yep. your stand. You used to you could move around and find a tree, but it's getting difficult now, mm -hmm. and. Uh, so, so you just, these ground blinds will make it easy. I mean, you get them to hold one person, two people, three people, mm -hmm. or more even. So uh, it's gonna be the thing to do is to get a ground blind. Y'all got a good selection down there? We got, we got a big stockpile of them because we know people are gonna need them. And uh, 
it, they're, they're very safe too. They, you know, you're yes. on the ground. You're not having to climb a tree where there's a chance that you're falling. And, and if I might coach, the, the technology on the ground blinds has gotten better too. In the old days, you'd have to arrange them with tent-like poles. Uh -huh. Today, at CNG, Ronnie's ordered a number of them where you throw it up in the air and a bunch of fiberglass rods <laughs> come out, <laughs> yeah. and, then, and it comes down and <laughs> it's a, it's a yeah, blind. It <laughs> All you got to remember is how do you bend it to get it back Twist together, it but that's easy too. <laughs> uh, when those first came out, I said, well, that's fascinating. Now, <laughs> but I never could bend it back, but now it's just advanced a lot further. It's now. gotten a lot yeah. easier. Yeah, yeah I, I, I really do like them because of the comfort. And you're out of the weather, the, the rough wind, the rain, and so forth. It's just a great thing to have these ground blinds. Yeah, I'm excited about them too. Uh, we got about a minute or two left. Uh, we're right here in the middle of, of October. Uh, what should all we be doing now? What hunters are Everybody doing? better be getting ready. And the, the rain coming, we're going uh, to have time to plant the food plots right now. Right now. Most people planted a month ago. This, Seeds all dead and gone, yeah. but right now is the time to get out there and get it planted. Okay. All right, Mark. Uh, well, one thing I know that Ronnie wanted to talk about was hunter safety. Uh, at uh, at CNG Sporting Goods, we sell a number of items that help people be safe. The orange hunting hats, the orange vests. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But of course, there's nothing better, Coach, than just common sense. You know, making sure that you know where all your buddies are when you are hunting yeah. before you pull the Make trigger. Make sure somebody knows where you're hunting. That's, we've talked we're talking, about that yeah. before. We're talking about people doing boat float plans on a boat. Yeah. You need a hunt plan on, on the ground. Yeah, and if absolutely. you get a chance, you should always have two people. Yeah. Get you a hunting buddy or yeah. and uh, it's, yeah. it's just so much safer if there's two of you. Yeah. And always know that uh, have somebody know where you are exactly. And, and that couldn't be more important. Ronnie's got good friends that have been safe all their lives, and at one time, you forget to snap into that harness when you're up at that tree stand, you'll remember it for a long time after after you get hurt. So it's important to yeah. use all those safety features. Yeah. Great points, and uh, well, we put together a great show this morning, fellas. We're good, oh, mate. We're good. It's our pleasure. So, uh, Coach, thanks for having us on. Save us some of the cameras now. <laughs> <laughs> this might be the last one for a little couple of days, Coach. Okay. We'll save it for you. Thank you all for watching Panhandle Outdoor. We really appreciate the viewership, and uh, y'all run by and see if I see and Do something good today for your fellow man, and God bless. Thanks for watching America's only daily outdoor TV show, Panhandle Outdoors with Winston Chester, featuring hunting, fishing, and other activities and information to help you enjoy the great outdoors. Join us next time for Panhandle Outdoors.